It has been a meaningful eight days of campaigning. My team and I have worked hard to reach out to as many residents as we can. I would like to first thank all my volunteers. This is my first campaign. As you know, I've been in private sector for the last 25 years. And I would not have made it past these two weeks without your help. As I have said many times to you, my volunteers, before, it is all about people. I am fortunate to have your support. And I look forward to working with you for many more years to come. Thank you. Thank you. I grew up in a large family of 14, living in a small flat. First in Kim Kiet, then in Topayo. My father ran a shoe store at Benjima Market. Life was simple, but we had enough. Today, I am the Chief Executive Officer of OUE Hospitality Read Management. And I return with my family to live in Bishan East. It was people who made it possible for me to succeed. I received bursaries and scholarships from clan associations and private organizations. These kind people wanted to help others move up in life. The story of Singapore's success is a story of our people. Just as how others have helped me, I want to do the same for others. Thank you. Over the years, I have been involved in labor movement. I chaired NTUC Food Fair, a social enterprise that aims to stabilize cooked food prices and improve the quality of life of our workers and their families. I also look after Orchid Country Club, which seeks to make social, recreational and golf services affordable to all workers. In the last two years, I started actively volunteering at Bishan East grassroots and community activities. This range from helping individuals through ComCare activities to organizing events. I found it immensely fulfilling. Over 4,000 residents attended our Pioneer Generation Dinner last year. More recently, over 20,000 residents attended the SG50 musical for Pishan Topayo. From the last two years' involvement, I believe even more strongly that it is important to proactively look out for those in need. They may not be getting the relevant assistance. We have to address their needs on a case-by-case -case basis because everyone's situation is different. The PAP government has introduced many social assistance schemes. However, there are still people who are unaware of these schemes, let alone where to get help. Recently, at the Meet the People session, we met an elderly lady. She came to appeal a matter regarding the Pioneer Generation Package, but was unsuccessful. We did not stop there. Our volunteers found other ways to help her. For example, getting her a chess card, the Blue Community Health Assistance Scheme card that allows her to go for medical appointment and treatment at much reduced prices. We found out later that her husband had passed away and she was living alone. She could not afford utilities. At night, she would keep the door of her flat open just to let in the light from the corridor. She is one tough lady. She refused help 
from the government or any one of us. In the end, we found ways to give her food, vouchers, and tickets to join us in community events. It's not about just keeping the stomach full. It's about engaging this resident and integrating her into the community again. Thank you. Yes, because we care. We help her to administer her husband's estate. A relative showed up one day and wanted to buy the flat. We advise her to consider carefully. So what does this case tell us? Every household faces different issues. There is no template solution. There are no 10-year series for us to refer to. Only O-level and A-level have 10-year series. This is the reality on the ground. Similarly, we have to be on the ground to help our residents figure things out. People ask me many times, I'm in, in the private sector. Why am I involved with the labor movement, grassroots, and now politics? They ask if I have anything to gain. My reply is, if I can improve the living environment of the residents, if I can put a smile to one needy Singaporean, if I can speak up on your behalf on the issues that matter to you, I would have gained a sense of fulfillment that I will forever treasure. And I believe my team of volunteers share this vision and views with me. In the first 15 years of my life, I grew up in Kim Kiet and Topayo. I lived in Pishan East for the last 10 years. I have seen and experienced the growth of Pishan Topayo as a place to live, work and play. But PAP has more to offer. For Pishan East, we have completed 100% of leaf upgrading, we have built new fitness corners for our residents. We will continue with more upgrading projects in Pishan East, including the residential areas of Clover, Binchang, Pemimbin, Insaf, and Bajaya. We have improved the footpaths, ramps, and drop off points. We will refresh 35 blocks under the neighborhood renewal program. And we will refresh another 29 blocks under the Home Improvement Program. In our future plan, we will also install lifts for all our multi-storey car parks. <laughs> Keeping our estate for residents of all ages to enjoy is an ongoing process. The residents' needs are constantly evolving. I commit to listening communicating and working with residents from all walks of life to meet your needs. Let me say a few words in Chinese. Peace,大白有的居民,和朋友,晚上好。新加坡独立五十年,走过了风风雨雨。人民行动党在建国中立李光耀,和他的团队领导下。以建国一代共创新加坡今日辉煌的繁荣和成就他们坚持着任人危险廉洁多元种族自力更生的价值观至今这仍然是人民行动党的指南针我在国外曾定居两年这十五年我也常出差到无数国家公干除了新加坡以外再也没有其他地方能让我的家人和孩子过安定的生活追求自己的梦想
过去两年，我加入碧山东区基层组织，主办和参加了不少基层活动，为居民服务是有意义的，关怀居民也不是一朝一夕的事，这是一个长期的承诺。我们必须更深一层了解居民的需求，给予适当的协助。如果能得到选民的肯定，上任议员职位，我觉得我能为居民做得更多。在此，谢谢。谢谢在此，我也想表达对王根成先生的谢意，非常感谢王先生这两年来的教导与鼓励。能够继承黄先生在碧山东区的重任，是我的荣幸。I have been involved in community work, social enterprises, and business. I hope to bring the same empathy and focus on sustainable solutions to address the needs of our residents and our estate. I look forward to representing you in Parliament and working with you to improve our estate, our home that is Bishan Topayo. I am Chong Kee Hyung of the People's Action Party, and I seek your vote. Let us work with you, for you, and for Singapore. Vote for PAP. 请同人民行动党，温尼拉毕业毕。Thank you， 谢谢。Terima kasih。Thank you，Thank you，Mr. Chong。